Hi, my name is Dr. Carey, and today I am wearing my trichologist hat so that we can have a conversation about alopecia. Now, alopecia means hair loss, and there are two forms of alopecia. There's a scarring form of alopecia and a non-scarring form of alopecia. Non-scarring forms of alopecia include alopecia areata. These are autoimmune disorders, meaning the body is attacking its own tissues. There is no cure for alopecia areata or any other form of non-scarring alopecia, and oftentimes with the existence of this form of hair loss, it can be an indicator that there is another autoimmune disorder that that individual is experiencing. Scarring forms of alopecia are often categorized as self-inflicted forms of hair loss because they can be the result of the use of hair styling chemicals as well as different hairstyles. Most black women experience alopecia in the form of traction, which is primarily located around the hairline, as well as CCCA. Central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia, which more and more women are experiencing in the center of their scalp, either as a result of years of chemical relaxers and or getting their hair weaved and getting their hair braided in that honeycomb shape. Now, as a hairstylist, it is so important, and I highly encourage you to get the training that you need so that you can truly be on the front line of defense for your client. It's so important that we not only provide beautiful styles for our client when they are experiencing forms of hair loss so that you can provide coverage, but that you can truly, truly walk with your client on their hair care journey and provide them with effective recommendations to help them either stop the area of hair loss or to preserve the hair that they do still have. And this education is so important to be able to determine the cause of hair loss because there are so many forms that you can oftentimes misassess or misidentify what your client is going through. And I've talked to so many stylists that due to just not having the knowledge or feeling intimidated about what it is that they are assessing that they don't say anything to their clients. And I think that it is so important that we know that we are developing a relationship and our clients really trust us with their hair, but they really depend on us to lead them on their hair care journey so they can make the right decisions. What I want to do is briefly take you through some microscopic images so that I can help you see the difference between scarring alopecias and non-scarring alopecias. Overall, what I would like to make sure I get across that any form of hair loss is debilitating. It can create a different range of emotions for anyone who's experiencing hair loss, whether it is a scarring or non-scarring form of alopecia. Our hair is so closely related and tied to how it is that we identify ourselves in the world. Hair is also a sign of youth, health, and vitality. And so when anyone is experiencing this form of loss, it is so important that they are working with a professional that can make them feel safe and confident as they are understanding more about the causes of their hair loss and the things that they can do to keep their scalp and hair healthy. I first want to share this image of a normal scalp of a dark skinned individual. What you will see is a consistent um, disbursement of these white dots on the scalp. And you can also see the actual hair strands coming from the hair follicle. These are terminal strands, and it is very common to see a follicle producing more than one hair strand. This helps us to determine the different densities and thickness that everyone has on their head. This image is another image of a normal scalp of a dark-skinned individual. I think that it's so important before we start to show you the images of a scalp or an individual who's experiencing hair loss that we are able to compare. In this particular image, what you are able to see are still healthy strands. The difference is that you will see that this scalp is darker. This is a form of erythema, which means irritation um, caused by um, oftentimes in black individuals are styling. So this particular individual um, hair may be braided or pulled into a ponytail or as a result of styles that have caused tension or stress on the scalp has created these darker patches. But overall, this is a normal scalp that's irritated. 
So now we are looking at the image of an individual who is experiencing hair loss in the form of alopecia areata, which is that non-scarring form of alopecia, but still very devastating. And what you will notice with this microscopic image is that there are a number of follicles that are producing short exclamation point hairs. This is a sign of those hairs that have broken off right at the scalp and also signs of just complete hair loss. This image also shows those consistent white spots within the scalp, but open follicles that are also not producing hair. Again, this is a microscopic image with our naked eye. If you are unable to assess at this le level, you could mistake this form of hair loss as a result of traction, as a result of chemical application, as a result of hormonal changes. But with the knowledge that you gain as a trichologist and being on that front line of defense, being able to examine your client's scalp um, with a trichoscope and to be able to to see more than you can with your naked eye will help you guide them to recommendations that can really help them and also guide them to um, getting help from their dermatologist because as trichologists, we are homeopathic practitioners practitioners, we are holistic practitioners, and it is truly our job to provide the support our clients need, as well as a network of support and resources when we are unable to do things that are outside of our Now, this particular image is the image of an individual who is. Now, this image shows a microscopic. Now, this is a microscopic image of someone with alopecia areata. What you can tell immediately from the photo are these open areas of hair follicles. With alopecia areata, because it is a non-scarring form of alopecia, when you examine the scalp under the microscope, what you will notice are these exclamation point type hairs. With alopecia areata, the hair breaks off very close to the scalp or is completely shed from the hair follicle. And you will notice this under microscopic examination. Oftentimes with our naked eye, it is very easy to misidentify and assess the reasons why our clients are losing hair or the type of hair loss that they are experiencing. But with the knowledge that you gain as a trichologist, you are truly able to identify what your client is going through so that you can be a resource to point them in the right direction, even if that means guiding them to see a medical doctor so that they can get the assistance they need to promote healthier hair growth and prevent more hair loss. And lastly, I want to show the microscopic image of an individual who is experiencing a form of scarring alopecia. Now, unlike the images that we've seen of healthy scalps, even if that healthy scalp is irritated, and the scalp that is experiencing hair loss as a result of alopecia areata, what you will notice here is the inconsistent white dots that we saw on a healthy scalp of someone who is dark skin. You will also notice that the follicles have disappeared. You will notice areas of hypopigmentation um, in the scalp, as well as inflammation in and around the actual hair follicle. The, the strands of this particular individual are a lot finer. That gives us clues into their actual hair texture. We can see that the follicles themselves are flat, producing a curlier strand. But overall, we can see the level of diffuse thinning, the disappearance of the follicle, also known as follicular degeneration. This level of inflammation and hair loss is scarring, meaning the hair follicle will not grow back. So overall, it is so important that as hairstylists, we really assist our clients with understanding the reasons why they are losing their hair and gaining a level of knowledge so that we can use that knowledge to provide, again, those safe spaces and environments to encourage our clients and really help them along their hair journey. I hope this brief lesson in alopecia has been helpful for all of you. And I do hope that there will be more of you who, are, who will join the DK squad and take advantage of training to become a trichologist.